I'm just going to say it right now. There's a lot of garbage information that you're being provided and consuming when it comes to cybersecurity careers. It amazes me how much garbage information is actually out there. Every day on all the platforms that are out there, I see just absolute garbage advice being provided. And it's especially present on LinkedIn, Twitter, and YouTube. So why is it garbage? Well, for starters, there's a growing amount of influencers that are giving advice to have little or worse, no experience, yet they're trying to speak authoritatively in an attempt to convince you that they know what they're talking about. How can somebody who hasn't personally progressed their career give accurate advice on what's actually gonna work? That's like if I were to teach you theory in cybersecurity, but I have no experience to also provide you with situations that you'll actually come across. Another piece of garbage advice comes with certifications. It's so funny and also scary to me when people are like, oh, certifications like the Security Plus or the CISSP won't help your career, yet they haven't achieved those certifications. And in some cases, they have no certifications whatsoever. When it comes to certifications, there aren't a lot of absolutes in our industry, and I'm not gonna dive into that in this video, but these people aren't doing you any favors with the information that they're providing. What about boot camps? There's people out there that are saying attending a boot camp alone will solve all your career problems. I made a video already on this channel about why I hate boot camps, so definitely go check that out. But training itself is just one part of the equation in a career to make you successful. What about interviews or resumes? How can somebody prepare you for an interview that had maybe a handful of interviews in their life and they were only able to land a single job? Again, I think overall you should invest a little more time into researching who's providing you information because I hate the idea of you getting garbage information. Honestly, there's a lot of people out there that are trying to sell you a dream, but they're leaving out a lot of the valuable information that you really need and it's because they don't know any better than you do. It's like giving the answer to a math problem, but you don't know any of the parts that resulted in that answer, so no wonder why you're frustrated. Garbage information and advice isn't something new, but with the explosive growth of platforms like YouTube, anybody can put content on the internet and build an image that makes them really seem like they're an expert. When I first started my career, I thought even signing up for a training platform like CBT Nuggets was a risk because it was very difficult to determine who to actually trust. So what can you do to make sure that you aren't taken advantage of or tricked? Great question. One of the first pieces of advice that I always give to people is to do your research on the source. We tend to give a lot of credibility to people who have a large following, but especially in a career field like cybersecurity, what does that person's professional profile actually look like? Do they have real world experience that makes it reasonable for that person to be credible? LinkedIn is a great resource to gather intelligence about somebody. You can find out who that person's worked for and the types of positions that they've actually held. Experience is huge in this career field, so it should be a warning if somebody has very little experience and they're claiming they're an expert. If you're getting value out of this video so far, make sure to leave a like so that YouTube knows that this content's helpful for other people. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel so that you see when new content drops. Last but not least, remember to check the description for resources related to this video. All right, let's get back to the content. Sometimes you'll see certifications enter the equation at this point. Typically, more established professionals aren't gonna be gathering credentials every couple months because they're focused, but it is common for them to have a few of the major types of certifications that you're familiar with. I'm not gonna go through the key ones in detail for this video, but major certifications would be things like the CISSP, OSCP, CCIE, and GIAC GSEs, just to name a few non-entry level options. I would also look at the content or information that that person actually puts out on their internet facing platforms like YouTube, LinkedIn, or anything else. Ask yourself, does it seem like they know what they're actually talking about? Again, experience is important, but typically people who are word vomiting and they can't clearly articulate or explain things frequently don't know what they're talking about. When it comes to speaking engagements at conferences or in the media, not everybody in this career field is gonna do these or sometimes even go to conferences themselves. There's certainly value in these types of events and opportunities, but honestly, in our career field, the other things that I've mentioned are way more common. Something else that I would highly encourage you to do is actually research the information yourself. Researching itself is a very valuable skill, but why not verify the information that you're receiving? I know that's not something that we always want to do, and I get it, but a lot of the information that you'll hear should be fairly easy to confirm or deny its accuracy. For the people that are just starting out in this field or that are very early on, I wish I had a magic solution that can make all the garbage information actually go away, but it's just not possible. I absolutely see people out there that if you were to research the things that I've listed in this video, you would quickly identify that they aren't helping you, but I'm trying to provide you with the tools to be successful. There's gotta be some good news in this, right? And you're right. As you gain experience and advance in this career field, you'll get better at tuning out the noise because you'll have your own experiences to actually draw from. With that being said, 
I'm not going anywhere and I'll keep providing you the best content possible. Question of the day, which area of cybersecurity interests you the most and why? Let me know down in the comment section below. In this video, we talked about ways to determine if somebody publishing content is credible or if the information's trash. Remember, garbage in means garbage out, which means bad information will only result in less than favorable results. As always, make sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Check out the description for more resources related to this video, and I'll see you next time.